few months, every time we film a video, we're like, we're back, and we act like we're gonna start filming videos again, and then like several months go by. But anyways, we are back for now. I can't promise you when we'll film another video, but we are planning to do an apartment tour next week. So hopefully we'll have that up. And by the way, if you're wondering who this little guy is. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to the fans. Anyways, this is our new addition to the family, Chipper Blue Law. And if you follow along with us on Instagram, then most likely you've already seen him multiple times on my stories and my feed. But he is 13 weeks now? Yeah, 13 weeks. Yeah, he just turned 13 weeks. So we've had him for like five or six weeks now or something, I don't know. Time is flying by, he's getting huge. He's getting massive. But basically we just wanted today's video to be a little life update video. Charlie's still down here, you can barely see her. Oh, there she is. Everybody knows Charlie. Charlie's the star of the show. YouTube channel, YouTube. We wanted today to be a life update video and just kind of fill you in on what's happening in our lives and some upcoming things, stuff like that. Okay, Trevor, you're gonna have to exit the screen now. Time to go play. For starters, we thought we would tell y'all a little bit more about Chipper since we got quite a few questions about him whenever we posted about him on our Instagram. People were asking where we got him from, how long we had been wanting a new dog, how we came up with his name, all of that good stuff. So I'll let Zach fill you in on some of that. So I found uh, Chipper on Craigslist, posted on a Friday, like at midnight, and I found it on Saturday. I don't know, I was just browsing because we were looking for yeah. goldens. On Easter weekend, by the way. Yeah, on Easter weekend. And so I was like, oh shoot, this is perfect. I actually found Charlie on um, Craigslist as well. So I messaged the lady and there were still, I think there were two boys left. She was based out of Kennedale and we drove up to Kennedale on, what was that East? Yeah. Easter Sunday. Yeah, we drove up to Kennedale on Easter Sunday and picked a little tripper up. We got Charlie a little brother. They've been getting along pretty well. At first, it was a little questionable. Charlie wasn't sure about him, um, but now they've bonded a lot and they play nonstop. I'm actually going to insert a video right here, kind of of like a quick vlog that we filmed for TikTok on the day that we got him, so y'all can see how small he was when we got him. We picked him up when he was eight weeks old. We're on our way to do something super exciting. We are... Get a puppy. Get a puppy! And nobody knows. Nobody in our family, none of our friends know. We've been planning on getting a puppy for a while, and we've just kind of like casually talked about it. So we decided yesterday to start looking. We found one. We're driving an hour away to get it, and we are going to show it to y'all in a second, but we are so excited. we came up with the name so we knew we wanted a name to go with Charlie's and since she has a CH name we were thinking of different CH names and we both loved Chipper so we knew his name was gonna be Chipper even before we got him but then his middle name blue the story behind that is that all the puppies in the litter were named after a color so they could like tell them apart so the litter we got him from they had a puppy named after each color and all the boys were mr blue mr black mr green and i think mr brown or mr. something orange. mr orange so chipper had a blue collar on and his name when we picked him out was mr blue so we just thought it was really cute and we decided to keep his middle name as Blue. So now he's Chipper Blue Easy, and he's he crazy. has, yeah, he's crazy. You can probably tell from this video, but he has a blue collar on still and we just got him another new collar. So we think we're gonna keep his like little color scheme as Blue and Charlie's is pink. She has her pink collar on. And then just to quickly answer a few other little questions that people were asking me about him. He is um, a purebred golden. He was really fluffy especially as a tiny puppy. So a lot of people were asking me if he had anything else in him, like golden doodle or anything. He's a purebred golden retriever. He is AKC registered and Charlie's CKC registered. So I don't really know what that means, but they're they're both from different registries, I guess. Yeah. We both think that he's supposed to be pretty big. I guess the breeder said 
the dad was 95 pounds. Yeah, a big, big golden, because to put it in perspective, Charlie's like in the 70 range, um, which she has gained quite a bit of weight after she got fixed, but before she was fixed, she just was like a really petite golden. Like she was. She was probably like in the 50s, close to 60s. Yeah, in the like, yeah, 60s, lower 60s, upper 50s range. But anyways, we are just one big, one yeah. big happy family full of golden retrievers. We might add a few more into the mix one day. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, probably not. I think two might be our max for now. Some other life updates. So I guess over the over the year. Um, I ended up retiring from baseball. Um, just a lot of stuff happened. COVID happened. A lot of stuff with uh, just Major League Baseball and Minor League Baseball. Um, and prayed about it, thought about it, and I just think that it was the best for me and my family, me and Cameron, for me to hang up the cleats. Even though I love to keep playing, but um, I think it was time, and I'm, I'm at peace with with my decision and um, I'm actually working for a contracting company now here in Waco and I'm loving it so yeah so obviously it was pretty like sad kind of like to close the chapter on baseball and it wasn't like a quick decision it was spread out over like half a year or longer so I feel like that kind of made it harder rather than just like ripping off the band-aid we were like in and out trying to figure things out he got an offer from an indie ball team to go play up in New York right after we uh, put our deposit and like moved into this apartment and started furnishing it so that was like another decision um, but ultimately we decided that we feel like we are here right now in this season and stage of our life and meant to be right here so we are sticking around in Waco for now until we see like where the wind blows us. Um, might be here forever, might not, we will see. We're still gonna be having fun cheering on all of our friends that are still in baseball. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but and lots of good memories. So many good memories. Um, a, lot of, a lot of lifelong uh, friendships and oh, yeah. stuff, even though we don't get to see them every day, but. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the beauty of social media though. We get to still like keep up with all of them and um, watch them from afar. So bittersweet for sure. Now being like stationary in one spot has given us the opportunity to start um, exploring some other business opportunities. And we have a few ideas in mind that we wanna pursue. So we're just kind of like working on getting all that sorted out mentally before we can like officially announce or share anything but obviously we will always keep you guys filled in whenever we do have um, some new projects that we want to launch or anything like that so we got some cool ones in the yeah in the midst I guess and honestly things that we've been cooking up since we were teenagers like yeah. things that we've been dreaming of since we were 17 so it'll be really cool to see them like you know come to fruition and yeah. actually see them um, in real life rather than just dreaming about them. Mm. Look how she's laying on the couch right now. She's like, you're frumpy. Go buddy. Go. Go. Anyways, we don't have a ton of life updates for today's video. I really want to film an apartment tour. I've had several people ask me when one is coming because I'll post like little corners of our apartment and I'm really happy with the way that it's turned out right now. It's very cozy and homey and I had a lot of fun decorating it. It's pretty much finished at this point might be a couple couple little finishing touches I'll add before I film but hopefully I'll have one up within the next week or two for you guys so stay tuned if you want to see our apartment you'll know that I love all things interior design and decorating so um, I'll also be sure to link everything if you need some inspo or help shopping for your own place all right well this is a short and sweet video but we did just want to say hi to our YouTube family because we've been terrible about being consistent and I know we have a very small channel but we still have enjoyed making these videos over the past like almost two years now because we started yeah. in fall of 2019 so hopefully we can find a routine and be consistent with it again and as always we appreciate any support and we hope that you follow on along with us on my instagram at cameron.law you don't have to follow me it's okay yeah if you want to follow zach go ahead he posts once a year so <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.